how some new food and beverage choices are landing at Sacramento International Airport this year. And some of these names you are going to recognize. Our Jordan Tolbert, who does enjoy a nice bit of food now and then, met with local <laughs> businesses and talked to the airport about what they got cooking out there. Jordan. Hey, that's right. Good morning, Walt and Bria. I'm told the airport concessions team did a lot of work on this, reaching out to local businesses, surveying passengers and employees as well. So some of the top things that people want are affordability, sense of place and fresh options. Changes are around the corner at Sacramento International Airport, and soon you'll have new options to choose from in both terminals. It'll be a good draw, definitely. You definitely want like a healthy or a fun option, not just like a fast food restaurant or something. The current leases will expire within the next year and a half, two years, and the changes will happen in four phases, which you can see on your screen here. You'll notice some familiar big names as well as regional and local ones you may recognize, like Cafe Bernardo, Temple Coffee, Nick's Taco, just to name a few. The airport's timeline shows this will all happen between June of this year and January 2026. Jason Poole is a co-founder of Midtown Spirits, which is set to land in Terminal B toward the end of 2025. Poole says he's been at all of the events and outreach they've had. I, I really have to give all the credit to the concessions team out of the airport. They did a huge outreach effort to make sure that all local businesses had an opportunity to bid on this and to uh, have the chance at the, you know, the great opportunity that is having a location at the airport. He says the airport location will have their signature brunch all day, as well as a full menu, including appetizers, entrees and desserts. Plus, they'll sell bottled products and merch. Uh, you know, a company like ours, we are the first distillery in the city of Sacramento. We create a product that distributes outside of Sacramento. So this is going to be the greatest tool that we have to get the awareness out to not just people in California, but nationwide about our brand and what we're doing here. Now, I'm told 44% of these new vendors are small businesses. Daniel Yamber, general manager of New Helvetia Brewing Company, says being in the airport is great exposure for people who wouldn't normally see them. You see some of these brands in the airport and you're like, we, we're not one of those people. We're not as big as that. So when they came and reached out to us, we were like, wow, this is, could be a big opportunity. Just, you know, not only to share our brand with, with new customers, but to, you know, sell, to have another outlet to sell our beer uh, through and, and, and increase revenue here. And I'm told the absolute soonest that things could open is in July. And there are a lot of new places coming to the airport. So head to our website, abc10.com, for that information. Really that's, exciting. Yeah, that's great. I mean, if you get to the, your destination, you get to the gate early. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, we got here early. There wasn't much of a line. We got two hours to kill. Now you got some yeah. good choices, right? Yeah, and it's so funny because once I get to the airport, no matter what I've eaten right before I go there, I'm always hungry. Right oh, yeah. Now. I'm yeah. like, I need a snack. And it's I all need, right there. You know, you're like, I can't get it. I mean, you can bring it on the plane, but you're like, I need something now before yeah. we're stuck on the plane for a few hours. I don't know what it is, but right when I walk in, I'm like, I need something now. You're excited <laughs> about traveling. <laughs> right. That's so. understandable. <laughs> Worked up an appetite. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Jordan. Good to know.